antique stealer from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, has emerged as an unlikely rival for the world's biggest by Joe company. Irvin Graham hit the headlines last year when he discovered an ancient recipe for Bai Zhou, China's national drink, hidden within the case of a cracked imperial wine cup he had bought at auction for £300. Having later sold the cup on for £28,000 after discovering it was actually from the imperial Chinese collection once housed in the Forbidden City during the reign of the Kangxi Emperor. Graham spent months painstakingly recreating the original recipe, which contains nine ingredients personally selected by the Emperor Kangxi himself. Not only that, but the only Imperial Bai Zhou, named by Graham as VIP Zhou 8, has been declared a far superior Bai Zhou during a rigorous scientific analysis against Mao Tai, the world's leading Bai Zhou brand produced by Kwai Chao Mao Tai, which last year became China's most valuable publicly listed company. The analysis, which was conducted by United Kingdom Accreditation Service Laboratory that is recognised by the UK government when comparing products to internationally agreed standards, concluded that VIP Joe 8 by Joe was considerably more complex than its much bigger rival and also contains many more compounds with positive attributes. Herbal remedies containing alcohol have a rich history in China, and the nine VIP Zhou 8 ingredients selected by the Kangxi Emperor himself were intended to enter the stomach, spleen, lungs, kidney and heart to resolve dampness and qi stagnation. During the scientific analysis, VIP Joe 8 was found to be packed full of positive compounds, including many terpenines, which are known for their antioxidant with anti-inflammatory properties. Graham said, there is no denying Kwai Chao Mao Tai is a fantastic brand. It is culturally and historically woven into the fabric of Chinese society and ingrained in the psyche of millions of Chinese people. Over the years, Kwai Chao Mao Tai has spent tens of millions perfecting its Bai Zhou recipe, with an in-house army of scientists working in custom-built laboratories. So it is staggering to think that an antique stealer from England with no Baijiu experience can resurrect a 300-year-old recipe that is historically superior and scientifically proven to be far more complex than a $400 billion Baijiu brand.